We've had a hiatus since the last episode of Osan Boomer Adventure, but what's going on? Basically, a uh, new system, right? In order to get to that, uh, I forget what it's called, Kaiser Al something, Al Peter something. In order to get to that monster, you need to collect the Dragon Balls. And once you've collected the Dragon Balls, it opens up a portal and at the deepest layer exists Kaiser. And I think we might even have a turning mark to get that, right? So let's begin today's reaction. Okay, this guy is just getting introduced as the biggest Giga Chat of this series. So, long time ago, this dude built the fucking Coliseum. And then he defeated everyone. No weapons, just with this body. Holy shit. <laughs> everyone came across the world to the Coliseum just because of this legendary lore of Alexander and trying to defeat him. <laughs> Man, now uh, hot take, right? You, you, you're, you, most of, I'm about to piss a lot of people off right now. Some people, some of you are about to call me a fucking, uh, someone that commits war crimes. I think that we need to bring the Colosseum back. And here is why we need to bring the Colosseum back in real life. Right now, we're getting fucked with a lot of systemic magmatic issues. And I believe the Colosseum will solve three problems with one solution the homeless problem the broken prison system where where tax per money gets out of control as well as our economy which is in downturn right so how are we going to solve the economy homelessness situations and the shitty prison system with the coliseum all right hear me out every sunday we will have a fucking death match tournament arc the individuals competing will be homeless people <laughs> And prisoners. People want to see bloodshed. They will buy tickets like this is the fucking Taylor Swift concert every week. This will turn in this will turn stimulate the economy. People will buy, everyone will show up. And then we have the prisoners and the homeless people fighting amongst each other to cull that population down. And with a single solution of a Coliseum, I have addressed homelessness prison reform and the economy in one solution now that's a terrible thing to propose i know i know it's a lot more nuanced but just think about it just just think about the possibilities vote me for the next president okay All right. <laughs> Bald. Chat girl, though. Bald versus bald. Pugilist. Bald versus bald. Let's show him who the stronger baldy is. <laughs> oh, you done, bro. Oh! Cash no, revive him. Resurrect him. Done. Oh, he got, he switched tunes real fast, huh? He went from, he, you don't look very strong. He, he went from talking shit to calling boss immediately. Medicia. Have you seen something like this nearby? Well, I bet that, like, the winner of the Coliseum Tournament's reward is gonna be this other jewel, right? Where? Where? She, she just flushed there. I'm not crazy, right? She saw him and then blushed there. Wait, 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 Mr. Orc got Riz? Hold the fuck up? I thought he's more scared than anything. <laughs> Announcement parade, all right. <laughs> Two months? Two months? No, 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 no. They're not gonna do that to us. 
They, they, the two month will time skip will happen in today's episode, right? There's no way they're gonna fucking make us wait. You fight and you win. It's funny how he's still talking with blood on his face. 500,000 attendees? Okay! This is the current champion, uh, three times in a row, and he's won this five times so far. Okay, okay, we got a furry king here. Werewolf. He's like a wolf guy. Carwin. Okay. I mean, Mr. Orc is even giving credit right now, so I'm gonna assume that Mr. Wolf Carwin guy is actually OP. What? What? Does he have it? The hand? Well... Could we not just take it and leave? I feel like the Ori Halcom Fist are so strong that we don't have to participate. And we could win and win it too, but could we not just fucking take this shit and leave right now? Yeah? There it is. Marry me! That's right, it's all about the entertainment aspect, right? Ticket sales. You got an injury? Uh oh. What's going on with Kerwin? Sounds like there is a reason as to why Kerwin might be nerfed. Is it okay? But he's saying if someone's strong or strong out there, I might feel better. Some kind of terminal illness, some sort of sickness, but Kerwin might be nerfed. Yo. Fans? Not really. Did Kerwin just acknowledge his strength or did he recognize him from somewhere else before? This, this is either a look of I met you in the past or holy shit, this aura is strong. I'm not sure. It could be both. <laughs> you know him, maybe? Let's fight it out. Your belt. More the jewel in the belt. ことが。言葉が足りなかったな。その wolf nose do? Kerwin's wolf nose can sniff out lies, just like Hollow in fucking Spice and Wolf. We just want the jewel, not the belt. <gasps> oh! Pride! Br Seven deadly sins! Pride mentioned pride! Beat me in a fight. So reasonable, bro. We just walk out. Bro, the respect. The mutual respect, bro. Oh my god. Let's just win it. I mean, that's confidence that he has in his own power too, right? That we can just take the belt later on. <laughs> By our rooks? Go try it. Yeah. Go try it, dude. Owner! You can't tell? Yep. The unremarkable looking man. <laughs> At least he didn't call us like a th like a 40-ish year old man again. No aura of powerhouse. He's unknown. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, he is! Yeah. Okay. Prelims, then qualification block, top 16. Wait, only he's entering? Hold up, hold up. 
I'll enter through the Eastern League. What about us? Should we? Okay, okay. We're going to go West and East. So separate brackets and we'll probably meet at Grand Finals, right? I would like to see a battle between the two. Well, Kerwin exists though. But I guess I place Kerwin below these two. So I'm assuming that these two will fight at the top. Where would Kerwin show up? For whatever reason, I feel like maybe Mr. Orca and Kerwin's gonna fight in Grand Finals and instead of Rick because of the mutual respect that they had and Kerwin kind of like glazing, you know, Mr. Bronson. So, we'll see. Are you okay? 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 Is this that? He's just our little bitch now, bro. Danna-sama! Danna-sama! Okay, pass a test first. What's the test? Okay. Mock battle. Who's it gonna be, bro? What if it's gold? What if it's fucking gold? But we can lose and still pass. <laughs> She's back. The second sister is back, bro. The middle sibling of the noble family. Well, we saw her last episode, I think, at the end. Just like a little silhouette of her back, I think, near the Coliseum. So, like, I mean, she was in the opening as well. All right, let's go around two. <laughs> The flash. <laughs> yeah, it's you. <laughs> hey! Uh, lore about King of Fist tournaments, right? Fighting tournament held once a year, right? About to one-on-one. -on -one. No weapons, no holds barred. Over 500,000 spectators come from across the continent to see who the strongest pugilist is going to be. Qualifiers. The site can be found all over the kingdoms and the bouts are held and blah blah blah. Those who have 40 bouts during the preliminaries held over the span of half a year are guaranteed to enter the tournament. Half a year, bro? What the? It takes two months to get there. Then you need to do 40 bouts, win the fucking prelims, held over the span of half a fucking year, and then you can get in entry to the tournament. Dude, like, that's crazy. That's actually insane how long this tournament lasts. League block semifinals. These bouts are held in medium-sized venues throughout the kingdom. There's eight or nine competitors per block. Competition will be held each of the block, 14 blocks per league. Only the person who ranks person within a block advances to the finals. So basically, win your block and you go to the finals. And then the final tournament. A tournament held with a total of 16 members. The bracket we saw where, you know, we're going to go east and the west block and hopefully get to the grands. 14 competitors who advance through the league block competition. The previous year's champion and one sponsored competitor. Oh! So 14 people have to actually win the blocks to actually get into the finals. But Kerwin, plus there's going to be a sponsored competitor. I don't know who the sponsored competitor is going to be, but Kerwin plus one are going to be the last two to add up to the 16 number. It is held in the historic stadium with the statue of the King of Fist looking down the proceedings. I guess it is smart for them in terms of like making as much as money off of the tourists to have this tournament just basically be like, a, a, like, like almost like a half a year event. Just, ha just let it happen for as long as possible. Have a reason for all these competitors to show up and pay lodging and food and all that shit, right? It is actually a smart business plan. At the end of the day, the Coliseum events, this is like the number one ways for the economy to work here. Not happening. How the fuck are you going to tell that dude that he's an old looking dude? Knock that old dude out with one blow, brother. Look at yourself. No Creeps. <laughs> she is pretty flat compared to other anime characters. Huh? Rick might literally have bigger titties than Angelica, which is very sad. Rick's the dark horse. To win.
She seems to beat on a redemption arc though. She even respects Rick now. What? I thought that like she understands how strong he is now and like was one of the few people amongst the family that actually respects him. But like, okay, I mean the guard's not going down this time. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Like, these dudes are cheering for Angelica, but not for her to win, really. It's basically because Angelica fell like this and, you know, body movement, right? And this dude's like, yeah, let's go, my girl. Yo, listen, she's losing right now. Do you cheer for the wrong reason? <laughs> We're sweeping her every time. <laughs> this angle, bro. Eight secrets of going easy. Going easy technique? Okay. Huh? What? Well, I guess it's like a nice way to kind of like humiliate the opponent while being funny, right? Because now you're so strong and you have these weak attacks that are still, you know, basically just defeats the enemy. Yeah. And that's only one of eight. Oh! Too slow! Yeah! Did he practice so hard so that she'd land like this every time too? Every fucking time? <laughs> Dude, like, the way he like respects the enemy skill every time, even though it never works, must be so humiliating too. <laughs> this is just sad. She can't even get up. <laughs> she is fighting for real! <laughs> smart move, smart move. Congratulations, you are now a pugilist. Thirty-two. Rina might get kind of pissed at this, but is our harm expanding? Oh, it's the cat girl again! What the fuck? Yo, it's the cat girl! Dude, this actually looks... That seafood pasta dish actually... Oh my god, that looks... Yo, this looks amazing. This food... Ribs at... Yo! I'm getting so hungry right now looking at this. And free food? Oh my god, she... <laughs> She actually got raised by the orc. It did happen. That scene where she looked at him and she blushed. Oh my god, I wasn't reading into anything. No, 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 no. It was actually happening. Oh, look at her ears go down. Look, she's so sad about it. Unfazed, unfazed.変わった更新量も使われているようです。その後、いつから検討士に4ヶ月前ですわ。イーランク試験の少しになるって意外だな。え、何としても勝ちない。Why? Can't wait until next year to get that jewel. Because Kerwin? What? Yeah. Right, the intermission scene, remember? you got It takes like 40 bouts of prelims, and you gotta win your block, and then you go to the fucking finals where it's like top 16, where 14 of them are, you know, from the blocks, and two of them are like, one's like a sponsor, and our other one's like Kerwin. Yo, I don't think he's listening. We got a lot of stamina.
We'll do 40 ballots in one episode. We can do this. Perfect. We can do it. What is the purpose of this outfit? Just to increase the sales. Yep. Let's just put a bunny girl outfit on for any service related, you know, things and yep, the sales will go up. <gasps> Not Grit Albert! Oh my god! Where's the referees? This guy just looks like a bandit, bro. You're not losing to him. Yeah, he looks like he's definitely gonna stab us, but like, I don't think like uh, any kind of weapon's gonna affect Rick at all, bro. <laughs> you can't say at his age when you literally look older than him. Like, 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 I'm sorry. The, the other guy too, the, 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 the grandpa that was shitting on Rick for his like, like, motherfucker, you look just as old if not older than Rick and you're being ageist. Like, where is the <laughs> hypocrisy? Where's the, like, does anyone not care about the fucking, like, the fucking consistency of this shit? This is like, again, like a 19 year old calling like a 21 year old a boomer. Like, or like, or like, like a, like a 14 year old calling like a 12 year old a kid. It's like, you are literally the same. Impact Stone. Impact Stone. Oh, he's actually wearing referee fucking soccer outfit. What the hell? Jacket's coming off. The weapon. The jacket. All right. Pink. Oh, what hand is fucked up? Oh. Oh, that bone is not supposed to look like that. It is. Idiot. We're stronger than a boulder, though. Oh, some Saitama shit. Like the first duel against Genos. The fear of death showing up as the punch barely fucking just stops in front of his face in the wind pressure, man. Wait. Did you just give him a fucking concussion through the shockwaves of the punch? Right? He, he concussed him. Without physical contact. The wind pressure calling a concussion is crazy. I wish he was bald. Number two, right? So what do we have? We have the sweep. Right? We have the sweeping skill and we have the uh, concussion punch without actually punching. That's two of eight. The winner is. Yeah. Where's this to orc though? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I love how he's just making him ride this shit as a passenger. <laughs> this guy is gonna be go He's gonna be his bitch for the rest of this arc. Maybe he'll show up even after that. Maybe he'll become like a butler at her place, bro. The end. Post credit scene. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> now there's a reason for the bunny suits to actually appear. We got the red light district. Huh? Someone's showing up. I don't recognize any of these characters. <laughs> I don't know, that's so funny. The girl's sleeping, he just wakes up and says, get the fuck off the couch, bitch. Yeah. 
so I'm gonna guess that this is the sponsored uh, player. Remember? 14 people will qualify into top 16 with the final bracket based off of their results of winning the blocks. Then the rest of the two is made up of a sponsored player and the previous champion. So this must be the other, you know, the sponsored player and Keith. Uh, sorry, Kurth. Sorry, Kerwin and Geith. And then this 14 that'll make up the final bracket. All right. I mean, he looks like some sort of like dragon hybrid person, right? You know, not his entire body was covered in, you know, the dragon red stuff. His abs were not looking like that. But okay, we have more strong people showing up. I mean, does it matter? We've already fucking slain a dragon, right? Just we one punched the dragon before and another dragon last last like last episode. But that's pretty much it for today's episode, man. We're entering a tournament arc arc. I love tournament arcs, man. Give me any anime. Fuck it. Like even if it's like an idol anime. Even if it's like a tournament, not in like a sports or fighting, just whatever, I will watch it because tournament arcs are always just so hype. It creates the perfect environment for everything that I love to see of like an audience getting hyped up over people fighting over their ideals and you know, one loses, one wins, and there can only be one winner and shit like that always gets me pumped up. It's looking like it's a very long process, right? There's 40 bouts that we need to win and there's only like a week left until that phase closes. Then there's a whole shitload of things that we need to do in, you know, winning the blocks. And then there's the final fucking bracket, but it's looking pretty good. Rick is going to join from the other side of the bracket compared to Mr. Orc. But aside from those two, Kerwin and Geef seems to be the other highlights. Not really sure what they're doing with Angelica. She was corrected last arc and even near the end of the arc, she did seem like one of the people that actually respected Rick. Right? She still calls us 40-something year old, blah, 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 but it's like not the same as before. But I wonder why they're keeping around even in this arc and what her motivation is for being here. But that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.